huge, and I do mean huge, like I don't know if you can see it beside me, but no, I don't think you can. But it's literally up to about here, a pile of stuff. I did an, as I've probably seen by the title, it's an eBay haul. There's obviously going to be a story with some of the things, so this is probably going to be a very, very long video. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut it into two parts or whether I'm just going to do it all at once and have it a big long video as usual. There's a backstory obviously behind the eBay thing. I sold a lot of stuff on eBay. There was stuff that was in my wardrobe I just wasn't I wasn't loving and I wanted to get rid of it and I wasn't particularly excited about like I had some nice things that I really liked that I'd got for summer and I was all excited about summer and wearing my new stuff and then I don't know why I'm doing this I'm just I sat in my hands and um, yeah I was really I wasn't very excited for autumn winter coming there was nothing like in my wardrobe that I was really excited about wearing and I'm really 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 into the colour burgundy and I knew that I wanted some burgundy things and I have got quite a few burgundy things, burgundy and green, like kind of this colour of green, like a variation of this kind of colour of green and burgundy, that's not the colour of everything but it is sort of a theme running through quite a lot of the stuff but there's handbags, there's shoes and shoes and handbags and clothes and just so much stuff so I'm just going to get started and stop waffling and just get done, I've got stuff in front of me, I've got stuff to the side of me, I'm going to just crack on. I think what I'm going to do, I was going to like have the eBay app on my phone and look up the prices and tell you the prices but with all the stuff I've got it's probably going to take far too long so Mark said he'll put the how much I paid for the stuff up on the screen. Some of the stuff was really good deals and some of them were just okay deals but I have to say that I pretty much like everything that I've got, I really really like it and obviously with eBay you can't try it on so you don't know what you're getting so you're taking a little bit of a risk but I have to say that I actually really like everything. So hold on, I'll get started waffling on. These are from, these are Clark's and these are burgundy leather as you can see, start of the burgundy theme. These Clark's boots are always made really really nice. These were, I do remember the price of these but I'm sure Mark will put it up anyway. These were £20, buy it now and I sort of snaffled them because they look to be, I've actually worn these, I wore these a couple of times, I've worn these twice so you can see where I've worn them but they look like brand new, the leather doesn't look marked or anything. They are just really lovely and they've got a weird sort of hexagonally type, you can see the dirt where I've worn them, like a hexagonal type, it's not a hexagonal, hexagonal, it's like angled, you know what I mean, it's not like round and it's not squared off heel, it's like angled and it's a funny sort of material, but I really like these, I think, when it's like that, is that a Chelsea bit maybe called that, I don't know, probably getting it wrong, but anyway, they're really nice and they look really nice for like skinny fit jeans and stuff, so got those and they look, I think they would look really nice with leggings as well. So next pair of shoes are in front of me and there's a story behind them. Was I'll try and get through it really quickly. I was watching a video Miss uh, Miss Shops a lot and oh, she's really good. She does like, you've probably seen her, she's really really amazing. And she does thrift hauls and things like that and she was showing a black pair of these she got and they're Crocs but they're not like Crocs like your typical kind of, you know like, I call Crocs garden shoes because we normally get them like for the garden, Mark's got a pair and Alexander's got a pair and they use them if they're like doing gardening and stuff but you know what I mean, the typical Crocs, these are actually healed. She showed a black pair and I was like, oh I have to have them. She said they're so comfy, she can run, jump in them and I was like, that sounds really good to me and she said they look really, really cute on. So I typed in eBay, so quickly I, was, I stopped the video I was watching and I typed in Croc high heels, there was two pairs and the whole of eBay there was two pairs of Crocs with high heels one that was a white pair which I didn't really want the white pair and I don't even think they were my size anyway but the person was selling them for 45 and then these somebody was selling them for 20 but I made them an offer of 10 and they sold me them for 10 so they accepted the offer and sold me them for 10. They are needing a little bit of a clean up but oh my god I'm so excited about wearing these. We're kind of past the weather, it's now started getting really cold so we're past the weather of wearing these now but I'll be really excited about wearing these in the summer and they're just like you can see where they need cleaned up. I think a little bit of oil as well, like just, you know what I mean, like to buff some of the wee scrapes out, but I don't care if they're scraped or if they're not. And you can see the inside is like the typical croc sort of inside. I just, I really like them. And I tried them on and walked about the house in them and they are so comfortable. Like I get exactly what she's talking about. I got these in a five and I'm normally a five and a half. I got them in a five, they only had them in a five and I thought oh, I'm taking a risk, they could be too. They literally fit me perfectly. Had I don't even know if they do them in a five and a half, but had they been a five and a half, they would have been too big because the five fits me absolutely perfectly. And Miss Shops a lot said that in order for them to be super comfortable, they have to fit you really well. And I was so lucky with these because they fit me absolutely perfectly. And they're so like, 
squishy and rubbery and I just really like them and they I know they look kind of sort of ugly but they are actually really cute on the on they just look like an ordinary high heel like it doesn't look like a croc or anything and it doesn't look all rubbery when they're on your feet you could actually wear them for a night out or something and be super comfortable and able to dance all night let me see I've got another pair of shoes there but I'm going to mix it up a little bit so I'm really scared that there we go something's gone already anyway there's a, it's literally so, marks are piled all up for me, but it's it's looking like it's going to go. So you might hear a bigger bang in a second where everything hits the floor. I typed into eBay, what did I type in to get these? Just purses. I was looking for a purse. I'd got some new handbags and I thought I'll look at purses. So I typed in purse and up came an advert for, it said small coin purse. That was what this was advertised as, a small coin purse. These were 3 99 I'm sure. And these are not small coin purses at all. I mean, you could definitely use the, I wouldn't say that small at all. You could definitely use these as a purse, but I think what I'm going to use them as, I got this one first and then realised I loved it so much that I also bought this pattern. So this one's like the blue with the stars all over it. And this one is, I actually thought it was cats when I saw it online, but it, it turns out it's owls. So lots of little owls. They're just so cute. Oh my goodness, it's going. Did you hear that? Oh my goodness. Mark. <laughs> Mark's going to come and fix it for me. Sorry about that. Anyway, I knew it shouldn't. I should have known better and sort of laid it out all nice. Anyway, professional as ever. Got these. I actually wore the... I actually took this one. I had a little get together and I put makeup and stuff in it. These are so... If you hear noise, that's Mark fixing the huge pile. Anyway, yeah. You can put some stuff here if you want. <laughs> Just so it's not so high this time. Anyway, yes. Zips. It's got three compartments. So it's really good for like makeup and... What I thought this would be good for is, I like to swap handbags quite a lot and when I'm swapping handbags, instead of taking like everything out individually, if you just keep all your stuff, well there's stuff going to fall into the side of me, if you keep all your stuff in here when you're swapping your handbag, you know like your bits of makeup and tissues or whatever you like to carry in your handbag, keep it in here and then when you're changing over handbags it's just a matter of like taking your purse and this out and changing it into another handbag. I really love these and they seem so well made, They're, they were, I'm sure it was 3 99 and free postage, the zips are rainbow on both of them, like, on both, I can't see that one, on both the designs are rainbow and they're just, they just feel really well made and they've got three compartments and there's no like stitching hanging out or they feel like really sturdy and well made, I mean you could if you really wanted to get a design that went with your, because they had loads and loads and loads of designs, animals and little bicycles and just loads of, but if you got one that went with your outfit you could use that as a little clutch because it's got a little wristlet thing because you can definitely you can easily fit your phone your makeup your keys and stuff in there but i love pouches any sort of like little pouches i really really love them i'm going to show you this and get out of the way so when i was younger i used to read these i don't know if anybody else read them there's a really bad glare off that but it's the point horror books i used to read these as a child like i don't know teenager is kind of child and i loved them i really loved them and this is not the first time as an adult that I've read these. I read a lot of Patricia Cornwell books, which is all like crime and they can be a bit gory and stuff. And sometimes it's just a bit much. Like sometimes I want to just read, I still like that sort of creepy type feel, hence the point horror. But with these, because it's a children's book, you can just, you don't have to concentrate on it. You can just like, I like to read in bed. And so it's not one you have to think, oh, and who was that again? And right, so how were they like, and what? Like, you, you don't have to think about it, it's just really easy. And I got two, one of them's actually up in my bed, it's called The Waitress, and this one is Point Horror, The Hitchhiker, and I think these were about £2.19, one was £2.19, one, I'm sure Mark will put the price up anyway, but around about £2. Now Doris clippy clopping. I should just stop and start again, but I'm going to keep going. Anyway, so I got two of them, so there was that. Oh my goodness, right, I'm going to start getting this piled down a little bit. These were on sale... I keep wanting to say the price because I'm so used to doing that. I'm sure they were £8, but Mark will put the price up here. These, it says here on the bottom, what does it say? Leather upper, let me see, handmade, leather upper, man-made lining and sole made in Spain. These are a size 6 and these must be a small 6 because they fit me, like my heel is like not over but right here. They're pretty much a perfect fit, which is really weird because the, the 5 and the other ones fit and the, I suppose it just depends on the make of shoe. But these were sold as, they've got fluff on them, these were sold as vintage shoes and I think they are vintage they're just they're so cute the gold on them is a little bit chippy I don't know if you can see that but that doesn't bother me at all they've got a little it's not even a kitten heel I don't think because it's too sort of blocky to be a kitten heel but just a little heel that like the suede on it is tan suede and the suede on it if you can see it's just so super soft 
it's like really really soft they feel nice there's nothing to like hurt your feet because they're just they're just super comfy and i like these to wear to the it's just about okay it's not really okay for the strappy ones because it's a bit too cold but i i've worn these when i took alexander to the swim because i don't know if your swimming pool like local swimming pools like this larger pool when you're sitting at the spectators but it is roasting i don't know why they don't have like a little fan coming in and i get it needs to be hot for the kids but oh my goodness sitting there for an hour is just sweltering so if i wear these and i can just slip my feet out them and it's just so nice and cool so these are my taking the boys swimming shoes so there's that and along the same lines as that i don't know where the other one is if we've lost it in the fall but they both look the same anyway you get the gist everything i really don't know how i've got hairs left in my head because my hairs end up on everything these are little betsy johnson ones and i i don't know the exact price like i said i'm going to stop saying that mark will put it up there but these i remember getting them for super cheap and they're betsy johnson little they look like they've maybe been worn once or twice i've also worn these and again these fit per perfectly and i think these were a five and they fit really really well and they've got sequins on them i think there's a little bit of like sequins missing here but I don't, it doesn't really bother me it looks like a fire like sort of shoot now and then all the little bits of sequins here and it's like a velvet sort of feeling and i just like them they're size i think they sort of look like slippers but they're definitely like hard going out shoes it's hard to tell now what are slippers and what's actually shoes because they all look sort of similar i think you can get away with wearing anything now but for betsy johnson shoes i thought that was a really good deal and again good ones to wear at the swimming because i can slip my feet out of them so there's that okay more of the burgundy these i got i'll put the price right here but i'm pretty sure they were 9.99 and they're just so cute these are originally from where are they from oh foot glove that um, marks and spencers and these are five and a half which is my true size i know that in a clark's i'm definitely a five and a half and apparently in Marks and Spencer shoes, I'm also a five and a half because these fit perfectly. These are, I don't know what you call these. I had the same conversation last time, but you know, like a cross between a shoe and a boot is not quite just a shoe, not quite a boot. More a shoe, I think. More a shoe than a boot, I think. Anyway, they're just, they're so... Mrs M, I'm trying to think what you called them. I can't remember, that cracked me up. And I loved what you called them. And I'm like, forever will they be known as that? I need to look, I need to read your message again. Anyway, they're, they've got the, in, like, as if it's, like, wrinkled, but it's, like, in the material. Does it, do you know what I mean? Like, show you on that side better. It looks like they're all creased, but it's meant to be like that. They're in really, really good condition. Like, really good condition. I've also worn these. I think I've worn these. This is the whole, that's like, accumulated over a while. I think I've worn these once or twice. I, mean, I can't remember. I think I've worn them at least once anyway, but they're just in really good condition. And it's not too... Not too big a heel it's like really comfy so there's that mark was worried that i wouldn't be able to walk in the you know the, like the heels and the clark boots because obviously at the minute i'm using a stick and it really makes no difference in my back so whether i use a stick or whether i use like it doesn't matter i'm as well to look pretty and and be in pain than not so i just wear pretty shoes this i got for alexander i bought myself the coziest fluffy jumper and it's in there and i thought i wonder if i could get one of these for alexander there's this they were selling these as girls and boys but when i got it it had a pink label in it and i thought that kind of makes it look like girls and you know like little boys can be funny about stuff like that not that it's any big deal and i think boys and men look really nice in pink but with it being a pink label i was worried he was going to say oh that's a girls so i cut the pink label out and it did say unisex like for boys and girls and now that the label's cut out like it's just a plain sort of hoodie so the inside is that like teddy bear fluff stuff and then Oh, it's just honestly it's so soft this is actually inside out he wore this to go to swim in the other day as the other side so it's like it kind of looks like velour on there but it's not it's more like a furry sort of i don't like velour but it's not you can see crumbs coming off of everything anyway yeah it's like it's furry and it's just i just want to squish him and cuddle him when he's wearing this and the hood has got like little ears like that on it it's just so cute it's a little zip up hoodie thing and i just thought it'd be so cute as a little jacket just to like go to his wee swimming lessons or even that little extra layer under his jacket when it's super cold and i really really like that so i got that for alexander i've actually got a few a few or a couple more things coming including a couple of things from alexander i also had things that mark bought me from the charity shop so if they'd obviously they're not going to be in that the ebay things are not going to be in this also i'll just like i'll shove them in with the charity shop stuff and so you show you anything that I've not got, I think I'm going to have to spot this video on too because it's probably, I'm really bad at gauging time, just talk and talk and then it's on, I bet 
we're probably we must be at least 10 minutes now surely i've waffled on okay going to show you this again a little slight story behind this i saw a bag on ebay and it was 130 pounds and it was a rebecca minkoff bag and the leather was like a lovely pebbled leather i love pebbled leather it's so like squishy and buttery this is not rebecca minkoff anyway saw the bag really liked it i'm like 130 pounds just for one bag i'm like i could get a lot of stuff for that like look at all the stuff I, like just for one thing i'm like no i don't really want to pay that so i looked up pebbled leather bags and up came this bag in fact it wasn't this bag it was another bag i think so up came but of the same brand and i was like i was looking at the bag and i'm like that is gorgeous it looked like the same kind of pebbled leather it just looked really nice all the hardware hardware looked nice it was just lovely and this bag was five pounds like i won the auction it wasn't a bite now it's like won the auction thing and it was five pounds nobody else bid on it but honestly it is the nicest it like buttery soft like literally like you just can't stop feeling it and playing with it it's so so nice it's such a nice bag the brand is maria carla I've noticed uh, when I checked eBay the last time, there's people selling them, but they're a bit pricier than this. There didn't seem to be any on for £5, but I've got another one that I paid like, nearly £20 for, and it was brand new, and it's a bigger one, it's a black one, and it's they're just lovely. I'll show you in a minute. So this bag, I've actually got, I think the person that had this maybe smoked, because it had a slight, you know, like, it wasn't like really, really stinking of smoke, but it had a slight kind of, do you know what I mean, like, smoky smell to it. Obviously it's leather, so I can't put it in the washing machine. So I wiped it all out, and then what I've done is, this is still damp. So I took the little thing off the squeegee thing for washing the windows, because it's like really absorbent. I poured fabric conditioner all over this, and then sat it in the bag. So now, it literally smells gorgeous. It smells like clean washing. So it's went from that slightly smoky smell to that. So if you see that in the bag, that's what it is. Anyway, look at all the hardware. It's like, I mean, it looks like a proper, I think this is like some sort of Italian designer. I had never heard of it, but, I've got to say our bags are lovely they're just absolutely lovely all the lining has the name all over it and like this gold silkiness she like the little leather thing here and then the hardware all has the name on it as well and it's just it's such a well-made bag it's really lovely it's the kind I like with a little handle and then the crossbody this can be extended and then in here it's got like your little slip pockets and your little zip pocket but then at the side it opens up as well so you've got your main bit then the side bit and then another stud bit which is perfect for your phone and stuff so you're not how many times have i been in my bag and the phone's ringing and i'm like rummaging so a little, i like it with a little pocket at the back and you can just tuck your phone in but i really love this and for five pounds there is one thing wrong with this bag like if all of it is immaculate even though it's white leather and you would think that would be pretty prone to i mean it's immaculate completely spotless apart from one little bit there and she did state that on she stated it on her thing it wasn't like i bought it and it happened to have this she did mention it on it and i knew it, it had this when i bought it it's like a little gray mark and i don't know if something's dyed the bag or if it's like scraped the leather but mark is friends with a he knows a shoe guy and you know they deal with leather and i'm wondering if they could probably fix that probably i could use like white leather polish or you know the stuff you get for like cleaning trainers up I could probably use that and you would never ever notice it because it's just a bit of white leather and then it goes on to the white stitching a bit. So you'd probably never notice it. I've not tried to get it out or anything so I mean I might even be able to get it out, I'm not sure. So that's it and it's on the back hand side so even if I didn't get it out it's not like the end of the world but I am going to try and get it out. So for £5 I get that, I love it. It's just, oh, squishy and I love it. <sighs> do you know what I do? I'm going to confess, a little confession for you. Sometimes when I buy handbags and I've got my stuff all sitting up in my room, ready to haul. Sometimes I'll just like, of an evening, you know, I'll go for my shower and I'll have my jams done up and down the stairs and like to relax and just sit. And then I'll bring my handbag that I've bought down and I'll just to look at it, <laughs> just to sit and look through it and look at it. Is that, do, does anybody else do that? Is it just me? Am I just the only one? I can only see one of these again, so I don't know if the other one has fallen. But bam! green cowboy boots i typed in cowboy boots and up came these green ones and i fell in love with them these are from i'm sure they're from faith yeah it says made in brazil faith these are size five and again these fit really really well and mark what mark did was the person that was selling them he looked up what other stuff they were selling and she happened to be selling some size five stuff some size six stuff so i kind of gauged that she's probably like me and a five and a half sometimes goes up sometimes goes down so that made me sort of determined that 
these were, to get these because I thought they would probably fit. If you can see that they're like this bit see through, so it's got the little pleated detail, and you can actually like, you can see your leg through it if you had bare legs. I thought these would be cute in the summer with like a flowery dress. I just I don't know, and like a little bit your legs showing. I love them. I can see probably probably a lot of people will hate these because I have sort of weird taste, but I love them. I just really love them, and I actually got where is it? I don't know where it is. You'll see it someday. Once I get down the pile a little bit, you'll see it. But I love them. I just I really like them. And I think I'm going to wear them now. I could even wear them with like a flowery dress now and tights and a big jumper. And they're just, I just really, I don't know. And they're like in really nice soft leather. And they don't look like, I do like cowboy boots. I must say, I like cowboy boots that are like almost done in. Like really like scratched and scraped. I don't like like all perfect to other shoes. I don't like like that. But cowboy boots, I like all kind of beat up a wee bit. But these are not, these are in nice condition, but I can beat them up when I wear them. They're just, I love them. Anyway, there's that, and like I said, there's a handbag to go with it. Oh, this is, this wasn't really meant to be in here, but I did get it from eBay. This is a towel for Alexander, my son, for his swimming lessons. It's got the little hood on it and the little clip. This was kind of, it was awkward to find. Like you can see it's kind of a long one, and it's got fish all over it. I don't know if you saw that, like all sorts of little fish all over it. It was hard to get it because most of the ones that they had that were with the little hoods and the little clip bits were oh there's a lot of dust coming off of that anyway um yes they were they were too short they were for more like sort of maybe four or five kids and he's just turned eight so he really needed one a bigger one and they had adult ones but i thought he's they're going to be too long and he's going to trip over it so it was kind of hard to find that one but I managed to find it and it was like, it was a bit dearer, but it was a bit longer because I didn't want to get the long one and I didn't want to get the really short one. So there's that, it's for his little swimming lesson because when he walks around to the locker, he's always like shivering because it's really, really cold. So I like wrap him up in that and then when he's walking around, he's not all cold. Anyway, mummy stuff. These are another pair of Clark shoes. These are a five and a half and these are the new buck leather. So they've got that look of being a bit sort of I don't know, they always look a bit, not done in, I don't want to say done in, but like, I don't know, new buck leather always seems, what am I trying to say, like it doesn't, it's not all shiny and new looking, do you know what I mean, even when it is new, it doesn't look new, it's got the little, you can see I've been trying these on, got that, I've not worn these ones yet, the, well, about the house, but not actually worn them, got a little up at the side, and then they're again that shoe boot type thing, and I just, I really like them, these, they're kind of cool looking with this, they are Clarks and I got a good deal in these as well, I thought. And they don't need healed or anything, do they? Maybe. No, I don't think so. They probably need healed soon. But do you know what? For the price I got them for, for Clark shoes, it would be worthwhile, you know, taking them and getting them healed if they really needed it. But I think they'd be alright for a bit. Oh, I really like them. And see this, when you're wearing like jeans, even with like a little turn up in your jeans and you've just got a little bit of ankle showing, I just think they're really cute. And these would look nice with dresses or boyfriend jeans, skinny jeans, anything. I think they're just, they're really nice. I really like these. And why am I saying there's two? Because I have two feet. Anyway, oh, there's the other one of the Betsy Johnson shoe there. You can see I'm so organized. So next is these, oh my goodness. These are, these are actually heavy. These are hairy and heavy. Like, look, huge so huge. These are, I didn't know the brand, it's Superga, like super and then GA, but all one word. I'd never heard of it, it's there, and they're furry, it's, I think it's like pony hair, I'm not sure. I just, they're burgundy, and I just really like them. I clicked on, I was looking for Wild Fox t-shirts, I got some, they're in there, but I happened to look at this lady's, I don't normally do that as well, but I haven't, it might have been Mark, I went, oh, let's see what else she's selling. Something, he likes to like look at things together and help me pick things out. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, she had other items, but like literally from this woman's wardrobe, she just looked like the coolest person ever. From her wardrobe, I'm like, it's out and there are descriptions and all her stuff. I just had this picture of her. She just sounded so like bohemian and a bit happy and really cool. And I don't know. And I know on her shoes. She's going traveling apparently. She is... See how you find out things about people but she's traveling so she's sort of selling everything up and she bought these for 130 pounds she said when she was on holiday they're a little bit big for her and she sold them i think they were 20 but i offered her I offered her less i think i offered her 15 or 17 and 
whatever I'll put the price in here but it started off dearer and I offered her less but these are they're just so cool but they are heavy like they're properly heavy really like clumpy shoes they weight you down like if it was windy these would be good shoes to wear because they would like properly weigh you down so there's them this is the other handbag of like that make what did I say Maria Carla I think it was it's just it's lovely it's just look at the leather can you see that anybody that likes handbags you'll know what I'm talking about like this squishy just lovely leather this was new it's again got the two shorter straps even though they're like short straps they're not as short as the other one you could still wear it over there and then it's got these straps so when you're holding it it looks slouchy I do like a slouchy handbag especially a pebbled leather one but it's just so well made the hardware and everything I don't know where to hold that so you can see it the best but the hardware on it is just it's absolutely lovely they're such well made bags i would definitely and again it's got her name written all over the line in this name in black it's got the name here and it's got the name on the little pull tags it's just it's just such a lovely bag and on the back it's got on oh no, a hold on so on the front it's got a sit pouch as well and then on the back it's got a little stud and a little pocket there which is perfect for my phone because you know, I don't like to rummage for the phone, so that bit goes against your body and it's got a little, you know, pocket you can just, I just, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I've been staring at this a lot and bringing it downstairs with me and just looking at it and just, yeah, I'm sad like that. Anyway, I really like it, it was nice. It was nice, it is nice. Okay, I don't know whether to stop and carry on on another video. Should I just carry on and make it really long or should I stop? Let me see how much more stuff I've got a lot of stuff okay i think stop and i'm going to film the other part so please come and join me for the other part i will have them up i'll try and have them up at just about the same time like the last time i left i got but i'll have them up at the same time that way if you want to keep on watching you can keep on watching so i'll see you guys really soon bye